Hello, my name is Joe Sass, and today I'd like to talk to you about using the Mobile Mapper 6 and a True Pulse laser and a mobile mapping type software in order to do offset shots with the laser. Um, I assume that you are either running mobile mapping field software from Ashtech or ArcPad software from ESRI and that you're going to use a True Pulse 360 laser from Laser Technology. Now there are three main advantages to using a laser with a GIS product such as the Mobile Mapper 6. One of them is that you can radiate a bunch of shots using the laser and not have to walk all around with your GPS unit. Number two, you can take shots of trees and things that are undercover that typically are not accessible by GPS because GPS needs sky. And number three, you can often get shots and you can take measurements in places that are inaccessible like properties inside private properties or islands inside of a small lake or something. So with that being said, I'll launch into how to make this work. The first thing we need to do is we need to establish a Bluetooth pairing between the laser and the Mobile Mapper 6. So from the desktop of the Mobile Mapper 6, we click on Start, go down to Settings, click on the Connections tab, and then click on Bluetooth. Add new device, click on that, and then I hit a, any button on the True Pulse laser to make sure that it's awake. Uh, it goes to sleep after about 30 seconds of inactivity. So as long as it's awake, the Bluetooth manager of the Mobile Mapper 6 will go out and find it, as it did. I highlight the laser and hit the Next button. The laser is hard-coded with a Bluetooth password of 1111, so I enter that click Next, and it now goes out and discovers what services the laser offers. And it offers a serial port service, which is exactly what I need. I highlight that and I select Finish. Underneath the keyboard, you can see that there's a COM ports tab, and I need to, to set the COM port for the laser. So I click on New Outgoing Port, highlight the laser, click Next, and then assign it a COM port. In this instance, I chose COM port 2, but it could probably be just about any COM port as long as I know what it is. Click Finish, and I have now established uh, my Bluetooth pairing between the Mobile Mapper 6 and the True Pulse laser. Using Aztec's Mobile Mapper field, once we've established this Bluetooth pairing, we can open up the program and underneath the menu, we choose the options. And if we arrow over to the right, first thing we'll see is the e-compass. It's probably a good idea when using the laser to make sure this is not active so that it does not compete. Then we key over to external devices and we hit connect. And if we choose device type, we'll see the True Pulse laser. And then we choose the COM port that we had previously chosen, and in this case, COM port 2, and hit OK. And that's all that is needed to configure the True Pulse laser uh, to work with inside the Mobile Mapper field application. And in order to use it, we go down and we hit the log button, go to offsets, make your measurement, and hit read rangefinder. Pulls in the bearing, the horizontal distance, we hit OK, and it starts averaging the shot. And if you noticed before, we had one point on the screen. When I hit OK, you'll see the second point is up there, and that's the point I just shot. Inside ArcPad, there are a few additional settings that must be made in order to make the laser work the first time. Okay, I've got a project already configured here called Quick Project. I've got one point feature uh, as a shapefile so that I can do data collection. 
zoom in, you can see I've got GPS active. So in order to work with the rangefinder, the first thing I need to do is I need to get to the advanced settings tab, which is under that options icon. Again, arrow over to the far right to extensions. There are many different extensions available with ArcPad, and there is one that is specifically related to this laser. We arrow down into this choice list. We see that we've got to highlight Laser Tech Impulse and hit the OK button. That installs the application support for the laser. Now we need to set up the laser rangefinder preferences. That's under the GPS tab. And you can see that we need to set it to COM port 2 and set it as a laser tech device. I could have support for other devices. I currently do not. Hit the OK. And then finally, I need to make sure that the range finder is active. And so I click on range finder and that will make the range finder active. So now if I go into my GPS measurement screen, and I make sure that the offset icon is highlighted when I hit, when I make my measurement actually with the laser, it will actually automatically pull up the offset screen with the values that have been pulled in from the laser. I can then type in my attribute value, if any, or however my shape file is designed. Hit OK, and now you can see the second point. Again, please note that, that uh, the offset is chosen over there which means that when I make a GPS measurement, it will assume it to be offset. So the workflow begins by making your Bluetooth pairing between the laser and the Mobile Mapper 6. Then you need to configure your application software, and then you can go off and make your radio side shots in a very economical and efficient way. Thank you very much.